If you're looking to buy some coins for FIFA 15 Ultimate Team, be sure to check out FIFACoinStock.com, a cheap, reliable, and automated place to get your coins. Guaranteed delivery in seconds, and use discount code CHRISMD for 5% off. Hello guys, it's Chris here, and welcome back to my Sunday League season. Now, if you haven't seen the first one, make sure to check it out right now. It went down so well, and so many of you are asking me to make another one of these, and I should probably explain that I've got, like seven or eight seasons of my junior football on you know old computers somewhere so i could potentially do seven or eight of these but for those of you that haven't seen the first one usually when you see like in real life football videos on youtube it tends to be like the youtuber doing some skills scoring some good goals with friends when you play in the fourth tier of football in an island with a population of ninety thousand people you can kind of assume the quality is not quite going to be the same. And in reference to the whole series, I'm doing this in reverse chronological order. So, you know, the first one I did was the most recent. And this one is, you know, 2012-13. So the second most recent. And we'll sort of just go back through the years. But before we start on this season, due to a popular demand... Well, no, not popular demand. Strong demand from one person. I'm going to quickly show a goal from last season that I missed out from the video I did a couple of months ago. Admittedly, I didn't mean to miss it out because, you know, it wasn't like we had an abundance of quality goals in the last video. But there you go, inside the centre circle, lobs the keeper from there. Are you happy now, Jamie? So let's get on to the season before that. I should probably explain as well that in the 2012-13 season, we probably were actually a better team than the one in the 2013-14 season in the last video. So kind of keep that in mind, but we were also in a like more difficult division. So anyway, let's start things off. We're going to be the team in yellow in the majority of these games, and I will be number 11, I think. So, you know, if you're ever wondering, look out for the one just banging them in from 30. <laughs> I wish. So the camera didn't quite catch the build-up to this one, but this was a friendly, and um, that's me nicking the ball off the defender and bottom corner with the left foot. Fire! And having slagged us off in the intro, this is the second clip, and this is actually quite a nice goal from our... Number two, you know, takes on a defender and then just puts it straight over the keeper. I mean, it's not top corner though, is it, Billy? Yeah, I'd forgotten about this clip. This guy tries to be, like, all clever and do a special block of the pass and then I just nutmeg him. Not entirely on purpose, but... You can just imagine the classic shout of, Jockey him. Okay, never mind. Um, and I seem to remember, yeah, this is a bit of a get it out kind of moment. Um, there we go. <laughs> and eventually... <laughs> oh, God. Bit of an ambitious effort from the left back. <laughs> yep, well left. Now, this is one of my favourite clips of the season. What does he think is going to happen? Like, it's just embarrassing for everyone involved. It kind of sums up Sunday League pretty well. Having said that, this challenge by our centre-back went unpunished. The game afterwards. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. Another demonstration of our um, phenomenal aerial ability. Okay, on some interesting stuff. Now, here's me picking the ball up near the halfway line. That guy just, just mugged him straight off. And then, look at this. How many do you want me to take on, like, before I take the shot? five six and then hit the post i still see that in my nightmares just notice that the under 10 football training in the background has a uh, bigger crowd than our game actually back to some good goals i mean we were still abusing the over the top through ball but you know if anyone's quick in sunday league they go up front it's just it's a no-brainer but anyway this is me playing the uh the second part of the one two um with our striker and then you know nice finish that was actually quite a decent you know well-worked goal and following on from that we've probably got the best goal we scored all season, really. Um, I am taking the assist, but nice bit of skill from our forward. And then just puts a weak foot straight in the top corner. What a goal that is. I kind of feel like Sergio Busquets a lot of the time. Because I feel like I always seem to get the assists on those goals where you sort of, like, stop the ball for someone. And they just take five of them on and put it in. And I'm just like, thank you. Now, here's another good goal. And we only found out recently. But the guy who scored this um, actually played through an anterior cruciate ligament injury uh, for two seasons for us. So you're probably a bit more committed than... Often given credit for Kendall. Classic Sunday League conditions. Right, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. This is probably the best clip I've got of all our seasons. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, we're the team in yellow and we are defending. It's like he's gone for Iniesta's sort of signature move with the quick feet, but you know, fair play to him. If you're gonna score an own goal, you might as well do it properly. Oh Christ. Right, cool, let's get it over with. So you can see our strikers running down the line here, you know, pulls it back to the edge of the box. Well, kind of penalty spot if I'm honest and um oh dear I reckon if that ball was played back to me a hundred times I wouldn't have been able to make it go that high again and in the same game I think I was sort of trying to redeem myself at this stage and uh you know leaping like a salmon off the bar would have been my fourth header of my career but it wasn't to be second half of the same game and I don't want to be Gary Neville but the keeper probably could have done a bit better back of the fortress and you can see uh, you know I make a decent interception here and um 
show my uh, the sheer acceleration against against number two, and then release our striker down the wing. And I think we score from this. Let's find out. Yeah, so I pick the ball back up on the edge of the box, lay it off, and um, lethal finish from our striker. But yeah, that's a decent counter attack, you know, for our standard of football. That was I was proud of that. I mean, I was pretty sure by this stage that I'd wrapped up worst miss of the season, but. At least that was another contender. Moving on to probably the best counter-attack you're going to see in junior football. Their free kick turns out to be a nice ball up the pitch from us. And then one through ball. And the ball's in the back of the net in about eight seconds. Now that's it for the under-18 part of the season. But I also played C-team games when, like, say if we didn't have game um, on a weekend or something. So this is the first decent thing I did for the C-team. Uh, took it inside, beat the defender, and um, played a nice ball to my dad, actually. He finished it quite well, so... Probably more than nine chemistry there. And I also scored my first goal for the C team in this game. It initially looks pretty good. Like I've, you know, flicked the ball above the defender's leg and um, acrobatically finished that one. Until you watch it again and um, realise that it was going a fair way over the bar. Until it hit the defender's hand and went straight in. But now because on the C team their kind of average age is a bit higher. I played sort of further forward. So I was quite often playing as like a striker. So you can see, I, you know, I haven't showed many of these darting runs down the wing in this video. Because I, you know, just usually don't get there. But this is the first time I've ever done stepovers in a game. Almost got through. That would have been such a sick goal. But um, it wasn't to me. And on the final clip, I feel like we should reflect upon the state of the pitch. Um, actually, this game wasn't even that far into the season, and, you know, it's more brown than green. So, that is all the clips I have from this season. If you want to see another one of these videos, you know, the season before, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have enjoyed it. I mean, the standard wasn't actually that bad, like, compared to the first Sunday League video. I guess it was probably an improvement. We'll see how it changes as I, um... As I get through the videos. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I want to bring these out a bit more often if I can. I just need to get around to, you know, getting all the clips and all that kind of stuff. Go check out the first one if you still haven't seen that. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you later.